65 year old female. She fell um, about two and a half weeks ago. She fractured her left patella, a minimally displaced um, fracture, the inferior, mm. maybe 25% or so of, of the patella. Um, she has pain to touch over the medial joint line, a little bit under the medial joint line, and a little bit at the medial epicondyle. Uh, some tenderness, but really no significant laxity with valgus stress. Uh, really not much laxity or pain <clears throat> with varus stress. I didn't want to bend her because she's only two and a half weeks into a patella fracture. So I'm just going to do a quick ultrasound of the inner part of the knee uh, just to see if there is something going on with that MCL. So here's our first clip at 1506. We can see that proximal MCL, a little bit of hypoechoic signal and some thickening, and you kind of lose a little bit of that fibular. Here we can see some hypoechoic signal, again, at the proximal aspect of the MCL, consistent with a low-grade sprain. Again, you can tell there is some thickening at her joint line. I don't really use ultrasound for meniscal issues, but it looks like, you know, see a nice triangular meniscus there. I don't really try to look into it too much with ultrasound. I base that, I really use MRI to evaluate the meniscus. It's got some osteophytes of that medial tibial plateau, which you can appreciate in 5007, kind of jutting into a little bit the MCL. And then you can appreciate the MCL inserting onto the uh, tibia. Um, we can see some nice strainy fibers going down. You can see here you can see some of the pest tendons, I believe, overlying the distal aspect of the superficial MCL. Maybe some of the pest tendons in anisotropy, but hard to really say. Now we're going to go ahead and look at it in short access. A little bit of hypoechogenicity, a little bit of thickening. Here you can see a little bit of hypoechogenicity on the superficial aspect of the superficial MCL, um, consistent with a low-grade sprain. Out of curiosity, we'll see what her patella fracture looks like. Is it okay to put the probe on your kneecap? <clears throat> okay, we're 1511 looking at her kneecap. So we can see this little fracture that... And here you can see that step off in the patella at the distal aspect of the patella consistent with a fracture. The patella tendon looks normal. The third of the patella. Um, that's where your fracture is. I mean, we're just going over it again. It looks pretty well aligned, so that's good. Here we're looking at the lateral femoral condyle, nice layer of hyaline cartilage on top of that.